I like say, um, a lifer here in Pueblo. I was born and raised on the west side of it. My dad, he was that type where he tells me, he's like, you know, you want to play? He says, you're going to pay. He says, either you drop out of school and get a job, or uh, he said, you just make something happen. He said, you, you got a kid now on the way. He said, you guys need to get yourself situated. So I ended up dropping out, uh, out of school in the ninth grade, but I did get a GED. I actually started using about two years ago, um, about a year ago. Um, I was on methadone. Uh, I was coming down off heroin and uh, kind of short of had a, another relapse, i say about six, seven months ago. <coughs> I'd been homeless on the streets for probably like a, I want to say about pretty close to eight months now. I've had uh, actually two overdoses in my whole life. And uh, the second one had scared me. <coughs> I was at the soup kitchen and waiting in line to get my uh, sack lunch or my tray or whatever. And um, all of a sudden, like, I just like blanked out. But I ended up on the ground. And then uh, I remember looking at my, my friend. I told Roosevelt, I don't feel right. I told him I feel funny. I told him I just feel like I'm all like, you know. And that was the last thing I said. And I remember waking up in his arms. They were dragging me to the fire station across the street. <laughs> Paramedic guy was sitting there shocking me and stuff like that. And then I remember this like funny tasting smell, which was from the Narcan. I guess they tried using that too. And they said that they used uh, two of the Narcan things and it was way too much. He says, I knew something was wrong. He says, uh, it wasn't really heroin that we found in your system. He says it was um, fentanyl. So, that's what I, yeah, it wasn't really heroin, but I overdosed on pit and all medication that was inside the heroin. And the Norcam, they, 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 they said they brought it down a little bit. They, they said they didn't know what they were going to do, that we could have lost you that day. You know, and I'm like, wow. So I kind of like opened up my eyes and stuff like that.